Hey, it's Matt from Clark's Custom Creations. And as you could probably tell from my last couple of posts, I was away on a little trip to Toronto. While I was there, I got a chance to stop in and see the 3D Printing Canada store and all of their wonderful selection of stuff that they have in there. I wish I could have taken some videos or pictures while I was there, but it was kind of like being a kid in a candy store. There was so much stuff to look at that overly excited. While I was there, I picked up some of their resin in light gray and dark gray. And I also grabbed a roll of their PLA Plus filament to try. And now that I'm back, I'm going to give this Creality Howlet Mage a try. Because Creality says that just about anybody can use one of these. So I'm going to find out because I've never actually used one or touched one before. I've got respirators and an air system in here, but I'm not going to use them because they're both very loud and it would make it impossible to hear anything. I also picked up some of this I saw on Uncle Jesse's channel. He said it was really good for cleaning your parts, so I'm going to give that a try. It was the cheapest thing that I could find. I think I'm going to start and try with the dark gray first and see how that goes. Put these on first so I don't get fingerprints all over everything. I'm just going to try printing hopefully the file that's supposed to be on here. And see how that turns out. very warm in here and I have to have all of the lights blocked out, all of the windows blacked out because of the UV resin. I had to make a temporary spot that I would be able to set this up to give it a try for now. tray over here with a silicone mat on it so later on once I'm cleaning off all the resin off the tray it'll be a lot easier Should be the card in here. Level the printer. It's not easy to get into. Guess I should open this first. Definitely should be a tear tab on that to make it easier to get that out. There are lots of videos out there on how to use this printer. Don't use mine as a guide on how to use the printer. I've watched quite a few of the videos myself, but I haven't, like I said, used one of these before. So there are definitely better, better descriptions out there of how to use the actual printer. Is going up. Sounds like a good 
opportunity to put a little bit of this lubricant that they sent with it. interesting containers that they have. Quite a slow process from turning top to bottom. I loosened these so that this wouldn't crack the screen if it came down too far. I saw that in many of the tutorial videos. And everything else that I've heard, put an even pressure in the center of the plate and tighten all four of these. Just a light pressure. I'm just going to snug these up. I'm not Trying to strip them out. And I shouldn't. It feels pretty even. From what I heard, the tension on this paper should be pretty well even. And that feels pretty good to me. Don't lose this for leveling the front surface. microfiber dust towel. I'm just going to try and take some of the extra dust off of this. I think there's a little packing dust. that comes off with a little bit of alcohol later. easy it would be to pour the resin back into these containers. 
suppose I should stand over here. There's a line back here that shows you. Just do that when I'm getting any on my hands on the first try. That's pretty good. file for the berserker I'm not going to change any of the redin, resin settings or anything I could be a little bit wild but I'm, I'm still very new to this and I'm not really sure on those so I'm just going to see how it goes get this started I'll stop and change the camera angle and see if I can get it a good angle of it printing for a little bit maybe do some footage of it printing and then once it's done I will come back and talk about the quality or if it worked at all we'll find out Okay, I guess it's working. See you in a little bit. So it's actually been a few days since I recorded the beginning of this video. It wasn't as easy to get the resin print started as it was with the FDM printer. I definitely had a lot more trouble. It doesn't help that you can't see the bottom layer actually sticking or not because it's under the level of the resin. I ended up finding a video by Facility D20 on YouTube and I basically used all of the things that he tried um, over time to get his to start. Um, I'm not really sure how big of a difference it makes, but I ended up leveling the printer itself with a couple of sticks to make sure that this was level. I had to clean this out quite a few times. It's definitely not easy to dump out the resin from the vat without a resin pump. It definitely makes quite a bit of a mess. I lost quite a bit of resin. But I ended up cleaning this out and I used, I heard it's good to use uh, WD-40 Specialist Spray, but I don't have any, or I couldn't find it. I think I have some, but I couldn't find it. So I used WD-40, and that seemed to do the trick for me. And I put a little bit of that on the bottom of the FEP before I refilled it. And I also took off the build plate, and I used a little bit of 220 grit sandpaper, and I went back and forth this way, lightly across the whole build plate and then this way lightly across the whole build plate to kind of rough up the surface a bit and after quite a few attempts I have quite a pile of attempted prints I mostly only got the bottom layer to stick I finally got after doing all that got this print to stick which I did the Batman model I did the body and the stand and the Batman head first and then I did this one this morning and they turned out pretty good this is with the 3d resin solutions resin and it's actually a bit lighter than the original color because I lost so much resin that I ended up adding in a little bit of the other 
light gray to fill the vat back up because I was worried I was going to run out. I also did a batch of Power Ranger coins, which turned out pretty nice. I think I'll have to lift them off of the build plate a little bit more the next time I print because the raft was actually touching the coin. But you have to learn somehow. cleaner worked really well. The only thing I find about this is that it's a little bit sudsy. has a bit of a soapiness to it almost. Uh, and it takes quite a while for it to dry off as opposed to the alcohol I think would dry off a lot quicker. A few improvements I think I would make to this is I've seen some printers that have an etched or a flexible magnetic build surface on them that have a bit of a rougher surface so that you don't have to attack the aluminum bed plate right out of the box with 220 grit sandpaper to get your prints to stick. The other thing I think I would change is making the vat a little bit easier to pour the resin out of without a pump pumping the resin out and having to dump it out. These flanges don't quite break the surface tension well enough and the resin all comes down the side of the vat and it makes quite a bit of a mess when you're trying to pour it out. This 3D print solutions, 3D resin, works very well. The quality seems to come out quite nice. The prints are very nice and solid. They seem to cure up quite well. I don't really have a very good curing station. I was only using a flashlight, and it's been kind of cloudy here for the last couple of days, so I only had the flashlight, and I wasn't able to use the sun or anything to try and cure these, but it seems like the quality turned out quite well. I'm very impressed with the resin printer's quality compared to the FDM. The details in the faces and the hair and stuff like that are quite amazing in comparison. I'll definitely be using some more of this 3D resin solutions, 3D printing resin. The details all came out really nice and the prints are all seem to be very solid. I'm really impressed with the differences between the FDM printing and the resin printing for the details in faces and hair. You can see all of the little creases and scars and marks in the face quite well. I definitely will be using more of that resin. I think I'll go with a lighter color from now on. I think with painting these in the future, I think this will be a little bit dark. I think the neutral lighter resin will be better for going underneath of paint, but I think they both pretty well will perform the same. Like I said, I mixed, I ended up mixing the two of them because I thought I was going to run out. And surprised that didn't cause me any issues, but I was able to do it no problem. Well hopefully you enjoyed my first long video. Hopefully it wasn't too long and boring. I'm going to be trying to do more videos like this in the future. A bit more of the long form content. And trying to do a bit more reviews and printing videos. And trying to get some more printing footage. If you'd like to see more of these videos please like, share, and subscribe and all of those things follow. I have Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And I post most of my videos and build photos and stuff to all three platforms.